One inning with one strikeout here on Tuesday. Casey Coleman goes an inning in two thirds for Iowa, gives up one hit, no runs. Struck out two and did not walk a batter. Facing Lim will be Efren Navarro, Trent Olchin, and Roberto Lopez. Navarro, the only one of the three who faced Lim here on Tuesday, and he was retired. So the Bees trailing by a run now. Facing Chang Yong Lim out of Sungdamsi, South Korea. At the last five years, pitching in Japan for the Yakult Swallows. Also pitched in the Korean League for 11 years with a high tie and Samsung clubs. Pitch for South Korea in the 2009 World Baseball Classic when they finished second, but you go all the way back to 2000. He was pitching for their bronze medal team in the 2000 Olympics at Sydney. So here is Efren Navarro, 0 for 2, walked his last time up, leading off the sixth. These have had the tying run at third each of the last two innings, but have been unable to cash in. And time starting to run short in this ball game. First pitch from Lim into the dirt and all the way back to the screen, ball one. Third pitcher employed by manager Marty Peavy tonight. One ball, no strikes on Navarro. Bright blue glove on the left hand of Lim as he starts his windup. Swinging a foul. That one banging off of Boska on the catcher, and the count's even at one and one. For the Bees, right hander Corey Rasmus. Starting to loosen up. One ball, one strike. The infield back, the outfield shaded towards left of it for Efren. Navarro has hit six home runs this year, but none in his last 108 at bats. The 1-1 one, one pitch, breaking ball inside, 2-1. and one. Right now, the Bees will love to see him get on base any way he can. Two balls, one strike, the count on Navarro. Trying to get on and get around. The 2-1 pitch from Lim. Breaking ball low, 3-1 and one the count. Lim only pitched in nine games for Yakult last year after the slow start to the year. He was on the mend from Tommy John surgery. Signed a two-year deal with the Chicago Cubs back in December. Three and one on Navarro as Lim winds and delivers. Inside fastball, he walked him, and the leadoff man is on for the Bees here in the eighth. That'll bring up Trent Olchin. One for three with a double and a run scored. Let's see what Keith Johnson has Trent doing here. Olchin does have four sacrifice bunts. That ties him for third on the ball club with Andrew Romine. Luke Carlin and Matt Long lead with five each. So does he bunt to try to get that tying run into scoring position or because he's been hot in this series? Seven hits in the last three games. Will KJ take the chance and have him swing? Infield, double play, depth, Olt even with a bag at third. Lim with a turn and a throw to first, and Navarro dives back in safely. The outfield, shading Olt into the opposite field. Short lead at first for Navarro. The pitch. Olchin squares and takes low. Ball one. 1-0 one oh the count. Roberto Lopez and Scott Cousins would follow. 
One ball, no strikes. Holt now in a couple of steps on the grass at third after Olchen showed bunt. Big gap, though, on that left side of the infield if Trent can go the other way. 1-0 the count. Lim ready. The pitch. Olchen squares and fouls the bunt back off the catcher, Boscon. The count's even at one ball and one strike. Angels have scored three runs in the bottom of the fourth inning and have taken a 3-2 to two lead over the Blue Jays, trying to win the first two games of that series. Omaha now leading at Tacoma, 8 to nothing in the fourth. Throw to first, and again, Navarro dives back in safely. Brad Olchen... Very quietly is the team leader in home runs with 14. One ball, one strike. Lim ready. The 1-1. One, one. There goes the runner. Swing and a line drive. Base hit right field on the hit and run. Navarro will take the turn at second and advance to third. Trent Olchen with his eighth hit in the last three games. And now the Bees have runners at first and third with nobody out. So Olchen with two more knocks tonight. And that'll bring up Roberto Lopez, who's two for three. Delivered an RBI single in the fourth. So now... Keith Johnson with a word for Navarro at third. Olt will play in at third. The middle infielders will play at double play depth, conceding the run. On a ground ball, of course. Torres holding the runner, Olchen, at first. Lim ready in the first pitch to Lopez. Way outside, a breaking ball, backhanded by the catcher, Boscon, and the count's 1-0. So far, no one throwing in the Iowa bullpen. One ball, no strikes. Limb from the belt. The pitch, Olchen goes, swinging a pop foul, first base side. Torres to the railing, won't reach it. That's deep into the lower deck. So the count on Roberto is even at one ball and one strike. Bottom of the eighth, Iowa four, Bees three. But Salt Lake with runners at first and third with nobody out here in the bottom of the eighth. Chang Yong Lim ready. The 1 1 to Lopez. Olchen doesn't go this time, and Roberto fouls it back over the roof out of play. So the count's 1 and 2. Again, Lopez did not face Lim when he worked here on Tuesday night. Lim with 128 saves in his first four seasons with Yakult in Japan. Obviously, it is a safe situation at this point for Lim. Throw to first, and Olchen dives back. One and two, the count on Lopez with Scott Cousins on deck. One ball, two strikes. Rasmus has sat down the Bees bullpen for the moment. Lim ready. And the one-two pitch. Runner goes, swinging a ground ball up the middle. At second, out, throw to first, double play, but the tying run scores. With Olchin running on the play, the second baseman Watkins went over to cover. And the ball was right on top of second base, so it was an easy double play. 
but it does bring home the tying run. No RBI for Lopez on the play. With the shortstop Masonette shaded up the middle, I don't think it would have gotten through had Holchin not gone. So either way, the run scores, and we are tied at four with the bases empty and two outs now. For Scott Cousins, one for three on the night. So the leadoff walk brings home the run, and now Cousins pops it up down the right field line, hooking down near the B's bullpen, and McDonald got a glove on it but could not hang on. Had to jump up for it. One strike to count. the count on Scott Cousins tie game at four Chang Yong Lim back to working from the windup and now the one strike pitch to Cousins change up is high that evens the count at one and one looking ahead to the Iowa ninth It'll be Darnell McDonald, Mike Olden, Jay Hoon Ha. The five, six, and seven hitters do up as Corey Rasmus gets ready down on the B's bullpen. The one one pitch. Fast ball outside, ball two. Two and one the count. Four four now here in the eighth. He's about hit Iowa, 8-5. to five. Now the 2-1 pitch to Cousins. Pulled foul into the seats up the first base side. 2-2 two and two the count. That one looked like it hit a young lady in the leg. Two balls, two strikes. Hopefully she's all right. Two and two, the count on Scott Cousins. Lim looks into his catcher, Boscon, for the sign. Now Lim into his motion. Here's the 2-2 pitch to Cousins. Fastball low, fills the count at three and two. And Luke Carlin on deck. 7,671 here on a Friday night. Hope to see you here tomorrow when the Bees take on Omaha. Three balls, two strikes. Now Lim's payoff pitch. Swing the ground fouls the youngster. Looks like she's going to be all right. As the paramedics take a look at her just to be sure. Full count on Scott Cousins. 4-4 here in the bottom of the eighth. Lim holding that glove up over the back of his head. Now starts his follow through. The 3-2 pitch. A looper down the right field side. Just foul over the glove of the first baseman Torres. So we'll do it again at 3-2. And, and that one cracked the bat of Scott Cousins. So he'll get to the dugout and get a new piece of lumber. Again, the inning began with a walk to Navarro. On a hit and run, Efren took third on a base hit to right by Trent Olchin. Lopez grounding into a 4-3 double play with Navarro scoring the tying run. So two outs, bases empty, and a full count on Cousins. That's his second game back from the disabled list. The payoff pitch, swinging a ground ball to second. Watkins on the belt, high hop, pass it, sidearms it to first, and that'll do it for the Bees, but they do tie it up. One run, one hit. Nobody left on base. We'll go to the ninth. It's now the Bees for Iowa 4 on 1280 The Zone. 